guys, it's Gigi, and today I'm going to be doing a Snapchat question and answer. I have seen this going around the internet, and I've been completely obsessed. I just got my wisdom teeth out. Oh, girl! Basically, how this works is I just uploaded a little video to my story. Hey guys, so I am about to start my Snapchat Q&A video for my YouTube channel, so if you want to ask me a question, send me a video, no text, it's so text. So, right now, oh, girl, Snapchat. stop. Can you see this? Oh, I did my makeup this morning thinking I was tan, but oh. I am absolutely glowing right now, like Casper the Friendly Ghost, and my hot pink nails really don't help, so we're just gonna act like my hands match my face, okay? Yeah. Hey. Taylor Swift's Bad Blood. Yep, obsessed with that song, with the video, with the outfits, with the cast, with the crew. Well, I don't know the crew, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, girl, first of all, you are so cute. I love you. I get hate comments all the time, and it's something that I feel, even if I wasn't transgender or I didn't have anything different about me, I just had a personality, people would leave hate comments. I know tons of my friends in the beauty guru community get so much hate because it's like, oh, you look so fake with all that makeup. Do you ever not wear makeup? Meanwhile, they're like the prettiest girls of life. So like, bitch, would you say that to me in real life? I don't think so. What's wrong? Why are you hiding? Oh, I love you. My favorite thing to do when I was younger was definitely watch The Little Mermaid. I was completely obsessed with that movie. It was sick. I remember I made my parents take me to Disney World and we waited in the aerial line. You know, the girls who just dress up like the princesses or whatever. We waited in that line for literally like two hours and my brothers were like, let's go. Like, oh my God, I don't want to wait here. And I was like, no, but I really want to meet her. Literally, I know my dad has the photo at my old house. I am so happy in the photo. I'm like beaming. Even though I feel like I knew it wasn't her, I was like, I love your mermaid tail. I love your red hair. I do want kids one day, and you're gorgeous, by the way. I think I would want like a husband to raise them with, though, because like, I feel like even now, raising a dog by myself, it's like, oh my god, it's like a lot more work than I thought it was going to be, so... Definitely would want kids one day, but I need a man there to help and support me emotionally and financially, girl. Because <laughs> I'm not trying to buy all the diapers myself, girl. Would you ever see yourself falling in love with a girl? Oh, that is a good question. I could, I don't know. Honestly, I don't know how to answer that question right now. It's so weird because there are a few girls in my life as of lately that I have been kind of attracted to. It sounds so weird. I know, I know, I know. And up until this point, I've only really ever loved men and like, you know, fantasized about men and all that stuff. Like I've been strictly straight. Bella, what are you chewing on? Are you kidding me? I'm trying to come out as bisexual, Bella. I'm just kidding. No, no, no. I'm definitely not bisexual. Although I have like kissed girls and stuff, I think falling in love with a girl and like spending my life with a girl is something that is still like foreign to me. Like I'm just like, I don't think I'm there yet, but I, as of lately, like I said, there have been some girls in my life that I've just been like, damn, you're like hot. Like, what's going on? Do you have any big plans coming up, like a music video or a collab? I do, actually. It's so funny. It kind of coincides with the last answer I just talked about. I definitely do have some big things coming up soon. I'm so excited to let you guys in on that. I hate keeping secrets from you guys because I feel like I was always breaking the news here and like talking about it later, like trying to promote it or whatever. But now it's like, I really have to keep this secret from everyone. Like all my people online, are you kidding me? I can't tell them. Everyone behind the scenes is like, oh, it'll come, it'll come. There's a time and a place where you need to release it. But just know, you're gonna die. Die! One hundred percent, I will be watching the I Am Kate. I will be watching by my TV with popcorn and friends on couch with Bella, probably wanting to play a catch because she cannot take any attention off her. And thank you, you're really cute. What was your name? Let me add you. Well, you know, every single breakup is super, super hard to deal with. Um, and I feel like with mine, I was very, very public with him and definitely don't want 
any chaos or rudeness. I definitely just want to keep the peace. And let me just say, let me just address this while this is the only question I'm gonna address about this. The music video I did to Avril Lavigne's What the Hell was for me. It was for no one else. If you guys have you know, followed me for years, you know, before my transition, I made a music video and I kind of like said things without saying them because, you know, at the time it's uncomfortable. It was like a growing process for me. It really did help me to deal with the breakup, not so much get over it at that time. I am now, obviously, because I am, you know, seeing another person, but I feel like it really did help me grow. I felt inspired and moved to make a music video to put on my YouTube channel, and I hope you guys saw that from the breakup. I know it was a lot more fun and crazy than I usually do when something hits me that deep, but it's what I was feeling on doing, and it definitely did help me deal with it. Uh, <laughs> she stuffs her face. I would say definitely her confidence. I love Trisha Paytas's confidence. I think she has such a bright light that shines from when inside her. I know she hasn't really strayed away from sharing all the hardships that have, she's gone through in her life and you know things that she's upset about and stuff like that. She's very open like that, which is another reason why I love her. Um, and I haven't seen her in a while. I'm so sad. Trisha, if you're watching this, I love you. I miss you. Well, thank you, first of all. My skin is definitely not perfect at all. It's definitely makeup, lighting, angles, filter. Did I already say lighting? Um, but I've literally recently splurged on the dumbest skincare thing on earth. Well, I don't know if it's the dumbest yet because I haven't tried it, but my friends were talking about the white caviar line from La Prairie or La Prairie, I'm not even sure. Literally the most expensive skincare line I've ever seen. And we were on the website and they were like, oh, if you spend this much, you get all this for free. And my dumb ass was like, oh, I wanna try it. And after I checked out of the website, I was like, wait, Gigi, that was like a new handbag you just bought? What are you thinking? But now I like, I'm gonna use that shit up. I'm not gonna use too much because I'm the kind of person with my skincare, I'll just be like seven pumps of moisturizer, blend it down my neck, on my boobs, up down my arms, like just very wasteful. So with this, if a friend is over and they wanna use it, I'll be like, no, I'm sorry, you can't. Unless you leave me like 50 bucks. <laughs> Oh, I love you, Caro. I definitely thought about getting married. I'm a hopeless romantic at heart, and okay, so recently I've been seeing this new guy, and this may sound really fucking crazy, and I really hope he doesn't watch this, fuck. We were on our first date, and I remember just looking across the table from him and being like, could I marry this person? I'll stop there. People are just gonna start to think I'm crazy. And I definitely would love to adopt someday, but like I said before, I would need a man. And even if I had a man at the beginning and then got his ass ditched to the curb, divorced his ass, I could raise the kids. But I feel like I would need him to start. They would need like a dad figure, because God knows I'm not playing ball with the boy, if that's what he wants to do. My aspiration in life? Oh, I was not expecting that question. <laughs> no, I'm not doing that, don't worry. I would say my aspiration in life is to make a change and hopefully whenever I leave this earth, I've impacted it in some way that's positive and also to be happy. <laughs> Shout out to Beyonce. Okay, so I think that that is all for the questions today. I feel like that was a really long question and answer, but I love hearing your guys' questions. It's so much better than just reading that or picking them and then reading them off of like my iPhone or something. It's better like seeing your face, hearing your voice. Let me know if you guys like these videos down below in the comments. And if you have a question that I didn't answer, I'm really, really sorry. Maybe next time, if you guys like it, I'll do another one of these videos. But until I see you guys next time, stay gorgeous.